Network Rail are undertaking a complicated project here at Farnworth to help electrify the line between Manchester and Preston via Bolton. We need to close one of the tracks running through Farnworth to undertake extensive work to Farnworth Tunnel. The tunnels are too small for the overhead electrical equipment so we're making the larger tunnel larger to accommodate both tracks of the railway and the overhead equipment. And the station and its platforms will need to move over to one side to meet the new tracks. This is a complex and challenging engineering project but we're going to use tried and trusted tunnelling technology to successfully complete the works. The first stage will be to install a concrete liner to the smaller down tunnel so that we can maintain a passenger service and also secure the tunnel whilst we undertake the, the works to the up tunnel. Once we've done that, we'll have a specialist piece of tunnelling equipment which will bore out almost 300 metres of the existing tunnel and create a new, larger tunnel that's capable of accommodating both the tracks. I started on this project the end of May, full time and our biggest challenge at the time was getting the TBM ready for the middle of June for launching. That was a challenge. It was a 24-7 round the clock in a factory to get it into its position for testing. What we had, we had a seven-day turnaround of a TBM in a yard, fully built up, commissioned, disassembled, transport, and bring it to the site and relaunch it within the seven days. We also had to accommodate a 750 ton crane in a tight area and build the TBM around it. Well, the machine has performed very, very well. Like we've had some very, very difficult ground conditions and we've had to adapt numerous times to, to suit the different sands and, 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 and clays and the rocks and brick we've come across. So it, it has actually performed very well. We've made some minor adjustments to it, how we actually excavate. And we've constantly been adapting various methods of how we actually do that, like throughout the drive. But basically, we've got two excavators, one, one upper arm and one lower arm. We excavate the, the ground around the, the old tunnel, then we break through the brick in the sandstone and pull it down to the bottom, and then another excavator arm loads onto a conveyor belt, which brings it then to basically to the back of the machine, which is loaded in the dumper and is brought out to the tunnel and, and emptied up on the surface. Once we've excavated enough for, for one full ring, which is 1.4 metres in length, we um, bring in tunnel segments, so five segments at a time, ten, ten segments form a full tunnel ring. We bring them in five at a time, we build them then, basically to co complete the ring, and we grout each ring individually as we go. When we started off, we had kind of clay ground, then we came across sand. So the, when we were digging the sand, it was, it was very, very difficult because you couldn't support the ground in front of you and th then we did dig a lot slower, try to with the ground treatment and all different measures. Whereas if it is good ground, solid ground like clay, like, like we're in now at the moment, you can just excavate out and the ground supports itself and then you just break out tunnel. You know there's no risk of voids or collapses or anything. And it's the soft ground that's most difficult. The main reason the Farmware Tunnel project was so successful was down to the hard work and commitment shown by the team that worked here. Considering the range of challenges that were present on this project and the fact that the tunnelling machine was the largest diameter yet to be built in the UK, it is a fantastic achievement to complete this project in under 12 months. Working closely with our subcontractors Fine Turret, OTB and Tunnel Engineering Services was crucial to delivering this complex project efficiently as well as safely. The tunnel has now been secured for 100 years to provide a more efficient railway for our client, Network Rail.